Hi friends! Are you facing problems in logging in to your default profile when your Windows 8 PC restarts? Is it logging you into the temporary profile instead of the default profile? Let's go ahead and see how you can troubleshoot this issue. First of all, you need to create a new user profile from built-in administrator account. To do so, on the start screen, move the cursor to the top right corner of the screen to access the charms menu. Click on the settings charm and then click on change PC settings. Click on users from the left pane and then click on add a user link under other users section. Click on sign in without a Microsoft account link. Click on the local account button. Type the username and the password. Re-enter the password to confirm and then type a password hint if you like. Click on the next button and then click on the Finish button. You need to log in to this user once to create its folder under Users. Now your new account is created. Name it as you want. For demo purpose, we have named it Rosa Anna here. Drag the window to the bottom of the screen to close it. On the Start screen, press the Windows and X keys together and then select File Explorer. Click on the View tab and then click on Options from the top right corner. In the Folder Options window that opens, click the View tab and then click Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives under Advanced Settings. Scroll down and uncheck the box which states Hide Protected Operating System Files. On the Warning window that appears, click on the Yes button to confirm and then click OK to exit the Folder Options window. Navigate to C Drive, Users, Old Username Folder, where C is the drive that Windows is installed on and the old username on our PC is John, from where we will copy the folders. Click on the Continue button to proceed. Press Ctrl and A keys together on your keyboard to select all the files and folders in this folder. Now press the Ctrl key and then click on the following files to deselect them ntuser.dat, ntuser.dat.log. Select all log files. Here we have only log1 and log2 files in our system. ntuser.ini. Right click on any of the files and then select copy. Use the back key to go back to the users folder. Locate and double click on the newly created user profile that we named Rosa Anna to open it. Click on Continue to proceed. Right-click inside the folder and select Paste. Close the New User Profile folder. Now restart your PC and check if you are able to log in to your default profile or not. See? That wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get iOgi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.